In this video, I'm just going to demonstrate how to create designs that are ready to be cut or engraved on our CNC laser. So first off, uh, when designing for the laser, it's important to note the maximum laser engraving size is 24 inches by 12 inches. So you can create a page size that is 24 by 12. You do not have to. The most important thing is that you're designing in inches. So that way, if we import your design to a 24 by 12 page, um, it is scaled properly. So at the very least, make sure you're designing in inches, but if you want to design 24 by 12 so you can get an idea of the, uh, the laser bed size, you can do that. A laser can create three different types of cuts, or functions, I should say. Um, we have vector cut, which cuts all the way through, vector draw, or vector engrave, which, like you can see here, is just kind of a score or a perforation, so it's kind of an etching. It's a very thin, thin line. And raster engrave, which is kind of like your fill and engrave here. And you can do these in basically any type of material. You can't cut through metal, but you can do a vector score or a raster engrave on metal. Um, basically any other material you can either cut or engrave uh, into. So the laser figures out which one of these functions to do based on the color of your design. So I'm just going to grab a rectangle here. Red, a red outline. Um, if we were to go into here, so a red outline, forget about fill for now, a red border would be a cut, a vector cut all the way through. So if I were to go ahead and turn on the red border, that would show the laser that you want to cut all the way through. That's what red means. A blue border, so I were to change this to say blue, That is a vector engrave, so that is going to do the, the score line, the little perforation cut. And then a black fill, so if I were to go in here and if I were to actually delete the border, delete the border and add a black fill would be a raster engrave. Those are the three colors, those are the three functions. By de determining the color of your design, the laser will go ahead and create one of those types of cuts or engraves. Now as far as setting the power and the material, all that's done at the machine. But from the design side, you just need to be designing with those three colors. And what you might be thinking is that, well, how does it know that it's the right shade of blue? Well, there is a very specific shade. So in order to get the correct shade of blue, what I recommend you do is I recommend you import my swatches here. So on your color menu, you have this swatches tab, and there's this little import and export swatches. And on my website, I have the laser engraving color swatches, which I've already downloaded, and that will give you these three colors. So we have our black fill, or I can go ahead and I could set the red outline or the blue outline, and I already have the three colors set for you. If you don't design the exact correct color, the laser will not interpret it properly, but you can always change the color uh, down the road if you wanted to. The other thing is you do want to design with a very, very thin border. So instead of just one point, we're talking 0 0.0001, a thousandth of a point here. Um, that is how thin you actually want to design with. So let's do 0, 1, 0 0.01 is the thinnest that Gravit actually lets you do. So you want to have this very, very, very thin uh, outline, um, which again is something that you can always add down the road. So if you want to design in one point, we can always make it thinner later. Um, that is something else that you want to work with. So you can combine these colors together. So for example, if I wanted to create, say, like a dog tag or something like that with my initials on it, I could go ahead and I could create a red rounded rectangle, throw, let's say, a quarter inch uh, hole here. So if I did, let's see, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. It is important to be mindful of the size that you're designing in. So. Um, because again, this will be produced. So if I want to make, say, a 3 by one or a 3 by one point five dog tag, let's see, oops, 1.5, and I want to set this to be the same outline. So we're going to set the border, we're going to make the border red because that means cut through. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to group these shapes together after I align them properly. So 
we want, of course, want to put the hole up towards the top. Uh, let's see, 0.1, very thin. Let's group like so. Might be hard to see, I'll zoom in here. And then if I say added a text box with my initials, I could make that the black fill and that would then engrave. So we would have a vector cut for the dog tag and then say um, a raster engrave. And if I wanted to, I could even combine more than one thing together. So what I could do is I could do say a uh, raster engrave. So let me just go ahead and let's convert this to being an outline like a path here. Group that together, oops, modify, path. Split the path up, merge that together. So that would go ahead and that would actually engrave it. And if I wanted to, I could then add a border and I could do, uh, say, like a vector outline around it, if I wanted to. So those are the three colors to work with. That's the main idea. And then, of course, you just save and export this design to be produced on the laser.